So we're just in the start of uh, March right now, and I would like to be somewhat done the dragon by April, end of April, um, at the latest, pushing into May. Um, so where we're at is um, we, we got all the wing bones tacked on. There's lots of welding left to do. Um, I've got to do the finish the wing bones up to the wing tips, and each wing tip has a spike. So I got to fabricate those spikes into the wing tip, and then start on the elbow and blend the wing skin into the back of the arm and do the webbing in his elbow. So in his elbow, he gets a web in there too. So we started working on that and templating it. And I'd like to wrap these wings up to the point where basically from his bicep to the rest of his wing, have that all wrapped up uh, this month for sure. And then next month, uh, basically all, all I'll have left next month is to work on the shoulders. And the shoulders are quite a bit of work because we've got to make a dividing point in the shoulders. And um, the shoulders unbolt from the dragon. And the shoulders are pretty exciting because that's a huge area which will really build strength to the dragon. You know, that's his big shoulders are which put, puts all the power into the wings. And I'm pretty excited about that. That's kind of like, it's gonna change the look of the dragon having big shoulders dramatically. So I'm lo really looking forward to that. You know, everybody's been seeing this dragon kind of look the way he looks for a year now. And those shoulders actually will change him quite a bit. So pretty excited about getting that finished. Oh, we're getting the sheets laid out, cleaned up and cut for the wings. So we're starting the shoulders of the wings. This is just a mild steel 18 gauge sheet metal. This is cold roll versus hot roll. Hot roll has a, uh, a black carbonized coating on it, which isn't very nice to work with when you're doing artwork or anything clean. If you're working on automotive or sculpture, or stuff like that, you want nice clean material. I wish I could get all material like this, but most material, tubing and pipe and stuff like that, it all comes, they make it hot for shaping. Cold roll is expensive. You can get cold roll tubing and, and stuff, but you pay through the nose. It's like buying stainless steel or alloy because it's a harder process to make. So what we're doing is up on the shoulder where the two pieces of flat bar are joined all the way around it. We're sandwiching the dividing point, I guess you could say. So we're making the dividers that will separate the fabrication to the body to the fabrication to the wings, and that'll be the seam where the two meet. Uh, a little bit bigger job than I had anticipated once I started looking at it this morning, so. Oh well, that's all right, we'll get there. One piece at a time, one problem at a time, and we'll get through it. I started off making a cardboard template. It's easy to cut, easy, easy to lay out, and then I can just trace it out on the clean piece of metal. The next step will be to um, cut all four pieces. Then pair them up. So I'll take two pieces and clamp them together and get them as square as I can to each other. And then I'll go around all the edges and grind them so they're exactly the same and that'll be a pair. And then I'll take the other two, clamp them together, grind all the edges so they're exactly the same. Then I have two working pairs for each side of the dragon. The shoulder on the arm here will come down. That'll be like his, the muscle on his arm. Then it's gonna come up to his shoulder. And then the shoulder is where it splits. So the wing will separate from here and then from here, it'll go in a nice curve over to the body. What I'm trying to accomplish is, is when the wing is bolted on, you almost don't see the, the, the installation where, where the wing bolts to the body. It's all gonna look seamless. There you go, nice. Wow, good fit. So 
So today we've been working on the dragon and uh, what I started off doing was uh, building the cuticle. So this is gonna be where the skin ties into the claw. I had Michelle make some templates for me and these are gonna go on here. Uh, and after these templates are fitted, we'll be able to uh, transfer these to steel. And then from there, we'll uh, cut the steel, we'll heat it up and give it the coloring of the dragon. And then we'll take it over to the power hammer and we will do all the hammer texturing and uh, you know make this finish look like it blends right in and around the claw. And then we'll do that again, make another template here to fill these sides in. But it's a bit of a long process. It's uh, making sure everything fits, especially this is kind of like in your face when you're walking up to the sculpture. It's one of the first things that you draws your eyes to the claws and the wings. And, and it's kind of a, a major feature of the piece. So we want it to, to blend in and look nice. level here. In, for installation purposes, we'll be cutting this, um, I don't know, dolly, I guess you'd call it the wing dolly, off the plate for the plate to mount to concrete. So once this is all fabricated, I'll use the plasma and we'll cut holes in here and uh, make anchor points. So when we're on site and this is sitting on concrete, I'll be able to drill down with a hammer drill pound anchors in there and bolt it down and uh, and then that'll, that'll be ready for installation. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. <laughs>